perfect right there. <laughs> what a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. Uh, Who's up? Is it going to rain? I don't know. That's what Hodges just asked me in the meeting. I don't know. I think it's good to go. I think we're good to go. Hey, Bill, how has this uh, bye week been for the staff, the team, just everybody to kind of maybe take a step back and refocus? Sure. It's been a productive bye week. We've, uh, we've done a lot of self-scout up in the meeting rooms as a staff, and uh, I think the kids have come out here and practiced at a good tempo uh, the past two days. Hopefully we get another good uh, effort from them today, and I think it's been a very productive uh, three days here. Hey, Bill, uh, you know, you've talked about NFL scouts who come to practice. I uh, just wonder, how do you set those up? Is it like someone on the staff will contact guys to come, or is it when they're just kind of in Pennsylvania, they'll stop by, or how does it usually come about? Yeah, no, we have a, you know, a, a, there's protocol there. They, they contact Elijah Robinson, and, uh, and uh, they set up an appointment there, and usually we open it up on uh, Wednesdays, so today is the day. Every other Wednesday, it's kind of bi weekly. And, uh, uh, but also, if a guy's scheduling, has a conflict and I have a personal relationship with the guy, I'll let him come in uh, if he needs to do that that way. But, but there is a, there is a uh, system with which we, they don't just show up you know, randomly. Yeah. What, what is it like having a personality like Mac McWhorter in that office? And we talked to him today and he's biting, scratching, falling. Yeah. And what is it like having him in there and what are uh, some of his best lines? Oh God, he's, uh, when nobody blocks any, anybody in a nine on seven drill he says it's like a screen door in a submarine so that's probably the line of the, the, <laughs> the decade from him but he no he's uh, got a lot of energy uh, really cares about his players got a great sense of humor uh, very technically sound coach just uh, you know obviously a very valuable member of the staff did it take a lot to get him to come here or was it pretty pretty easy oh yeah no it was you know it was definitely somewhat of a recruiting job you know because he was retired and uh, living in Georgia and um, you know, enjoy, enjoying the uh, the well-deserved retirement. But uh, he and I have a fantastic relationship and a lot of trust. And I trust that he's going to get his job done, and he trusts what we're going to do offensively. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he decided to come, and we're, I'm very happy about that. Obviously, what was your your pitch for for him to uh, be a part of this staff? Well, you know, I just felt like uh, again, Penn State was a special place, and and you know. You know, I knew that we could put together a really good staff of some guys that he already knew, and uh, you know, I had a feeling that there would be great kids here for him to coach, and all those things are true. And he just really enjoys coaching his his guys here at Penn State. He's really gotten a lot of uh, satisfaction out of that. When you were at the NFL level, how important was it for people on the staff to be able to go to schools to see uh, potential players? It's very, yeah, it's very important because you have a chance to. Uh, to watch them uh, practice, interact with their teammates, uh, maybe do some different things during practice that they haven't done in a game. Uh, um, you know, maybe a, maybe a guy who plays receiver usually in a game, maybe he's going to play DB and practice a little bit because he has to fill in for somebody. So it was always a big, big thing for uh, you know our, our our New England scouts who were great scouts to be able to get to, to see practice. And how much are you using that as a pitch when you're out recruiting? that they, you do have scouts here? Well, really, I do it, number one, because, uh, you, you know, I think we owe it to our players here uh, first that uh, we, we give them an opportunity to, uh, to to be seen by the next level, and so that's number one. But I do think it does help recruiting. You know, a lot of colleges let scouts in. I'm not the only one that does it, obviously, but uh, I do think it, it helps when, when, when kids know that, you know, if you come to Penn State, uh, you, you, you're, you're gonna if you play well and you produce on the field, you, you, you're gonna be seen uh, at practice, at games, and, and you're gonna have a chance. Bill, what's your reaction to Mowdy not being on the Lombardi Award watch list? I know it's a team game, and those things don't matter too too much. But are you disappointed? I uh, just uh, number one, I, you're right. It's a team game, and I'm sure Mowdy, uh, you know, doesn't look at those things. But uh, if he's not one of the in my opinion, one of the top five linebackers in the in the country. I'm I'm not sure who is. So I don't know who makes who chooses those things. I'm I have really no idea how any of that works. But uh, um, I'd say, in my opinion, that's a mistake <coughs> not having him on the Lombardi Award list. He's he's having a hell of a year, and Hodges and you know he's having a Hodges played a great game against uh, Northwestern, got a game ball and. Uh, for his efforts and Big Ten Player of the Week. So both those guys are having really good years. So. Donovan Smith was in and out of the game the other day. How's his hand doing? I think he's doing yeah. all right. Yeah, we, we play three tackles. That's what we've been doing for a couple weeks now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we played, I think we ran, 
you know, almost 100 snaps in the game. So you're not going to play 99, 100 snaps. So we, we try to rotate guys in there, and I, and, and I think he's doing okay. I don't think it's easy to play with the big cast, but I think he's doing okay. Hey, Bill, how's an off week in the pros different than an off week in college? Uh, there, you know, there's uh, some differences, but you're trying to get the same type of things done. A lot of self-scout, self-analysis of your own schemes. Uh, you're going to practice lighter practices, but you're trying to get up-tempo and, and go against each other a lot so you get good speed work. Um, you know, again, in college, you know, the major difference is you're going to give them more time to study. You know, this is a good time to give these guys a chance to get out of practice early. We don't have as long of meetings and, and get caught up on their studies, which obviously in the pros you're not doing that. So some of it has to do with academics here too, uh, which you don't deal with in the NFL. But there's a lot of similarity. Bill, after the win on Saturday, there's been some pretty positive publicity for you personally and also for the program as a whole. Have you taken note of, of you know, how, how the conversation seems to have shifted a little bit in your favor? Or you know, can you just comment on that? Well, again, um, you know, we, we definitely appreciate, uh, you know, the respect that people have shown our program over the But, again, it's just halftime. We've only played six games. We're only halfway through the season. And in reality, we haven't done anything yet. So we got to see where where we're at in November. And uh, after the Wisconsin game, we've got a very, very tough schedule coming up here. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously we're all, you, you know, we're all human. We, 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 we definitely, you know, respect the uh, or really enjoy the recognition, but at the same time, it's uh, it's it's only halftime, so we got a long way to go. Is it an important step though for you just to, to kind of get this moving in the direction that you'd like to see in terms of perception nationally of the program? Well, I, I think it always winning helps, you know. So anytime you can win and uh, be on a four-game winning streak, that's that's a good thing, and winning is something that cures a lot of ills and. Uh, now, now it's our job to try to try to keep it going. How much you start getting ready for Iowa now, or do you save the brunt of that for next week? No, we'll uh, no. We've done a lot of Iowa work this week, and uh, you know they play Michigan State on Saturday, so we'll be watching that game. And we know they're a very tough football team, and and it's on the road, which makes it even tougher. So, uh, you know, we, we but we definitely get, try to get a little jump on Iowa this week. Coach John Butler and Craig Fitzgerald, both high school guys, they've known each other for a long time. Right. What kind of camaraderie have you noticed between those two? Oh, they're they're uh, bosom buddies. I mean, they're like uh, <laughs> these guys are two Philly guys. They, you know, I'm a Boston guy, so they're always ganging up on me, and you know, they just their their wives and their kids are friends and uh, families. So they they've known each other for their whole lives, just about. So uh, they, there's a there's a great friendship there, and it's pretty. Pretty, pretty fun and interesting to, to see. So, it sounds like you're going to let the guys go home for a couple of days over the weekend. How important is that for them to kind of, you know, just reset and stuff? Yeah, I think that? I think anytime you get a chance to see your families and, uh, you know, especially since you've been going since the beginning of August with training camp and things, it's it's a good thing to 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 get home and see their families as long as they take care of their schoolwork here at the end of the week. I've allowed them to. To, to go home and do that. So yeah, I think it's a really, it's a, it's for that. It's to go see your families. It's to get rest and proper nutrition and uh, and to be ready to go when when you come back on Monday.